Hello my dear students welcome to Baiju's exam prep hope you guys are fine so guys in today's session i'll be telling you what are the various things you have to do to practice effective answer writing for esc mains it's not only for esc mains technically it is also important for all the other upcoming examinations in which you get conventional papers like if you prepare for state level examinations in some state level examinations you have prelims and mains you have conventional so this things the theories which i'll be telling you the points which i'll be telling you that is useful if you are preparing for any engineering mains exam okay so let's start right to waste time we'll keep this session as short and crisp but informative and knowledgeable so guys let's start the session if you don't know about me you can go through my profile and let's be quick firstly let me tell you the briefing about it and then we'll proceed if you don't know in the ies examination that is esc also you call it engineering services examination you have phase 1 in this you have you call it as preliminary examinations which is purely objective you have two paper paper 1 is of general studies and engineering aptitude paper 2 is engineering disciple it can be civil you can take civil mechanical electrical or electronics and telecommunication this paper is of 300 marks coming up next you have phase 2 so the time when you clear your pre examination you will be giving the mains examination which will be happening soon this year so this is a conventional paper that means you have to write the theory part so you have to solve the numericals it's not like somewhere in the very small space you're solving and you're just tick marking the answers or you're just filling the answers no you have to show the design steps each and everything you have to write it in a proper format in the conventional examination this paper is of 600 marks here paper 1 will be regarding your engineering disciple and paper 2 also will be regarding your engineering disciple okay uh, so the subjects are being bifurcated some subjects are kept in paper 1 some subjects are kept in paper 2 each of these paper 1 and paper 2 is of 300 marks <coughs> excuse me so both the paper are of your 300 marks and here basically what will be happening you are uh, the whole syllabus of your let us suppose if you are preparing from civil engineering a part of the syllabus will be there in your paper 1 a part of the syllabus will be there in your paper 2 okay so you will be told that what are the subjects which will be there in paper 1 and which of the subjects will be there in paper 2 so you don't have to panic regarding that and the number of marks in both of them will be 300 each now coming for the when you qualified one stage you went to the second main stage and after that you will go to the phase 3 which is personal interview so first you have objective paper then you have mains paper and then regarding interview personal interview the total marks allotted for personal interview is 200 marks but for that first you have to clear your mains paper okay so now comes the question that okay fine we are practicing writing mains answers answers but what is the effective way what are the things which i have to keep in mind so let's start and be quick so the first important thing is uh, dear whenever you are writing answers it's important that the time when you started your preparation because many students are giving this year mains paper but many students are there who are thinking to prepare for upsc for the next year okay that is 2024 so let me tell you uh, it's not that when you clear objective paper after that you start your mains preparation this is a very wrong approach and kindly don't follow this approach okay basically what you have to do is basically what you have to do the moment when you are thinking of basically starting preparation for upsc start to make your notes so basically short notes excuse me short notes are very much important okay and now ma'am what do we mean by short notes see whenever you are giving a paper if you yourself consider yourself as an investigator you are the one who are the paper checker you want that the thing should be written neatly in a well planned manner okay with all the important things underlined sorted and to the point okay this is the one which attracts the examiner at a very first point but mom so much syllabus we have such a vast amount of syllabus how can you expect that we should remember everything technically that's true also because whenever you give your semester paper every day you have one paper so you remember things regarding that paper correct but here at a single stretch there will be so many subjects 
okay you didn't have the habit of giving it oh you did that objective but writing it in your semester exam one subject at a time but here what you are having five eight subjects at a time so obviously the syllabus for your conventional comes out to be huge for sure but your brain also needs to remember it so the best way for this is short notes so when you thought of preparing for upsc try to make short notes and try to include all the points i'm not telling you to copy the entire book don't do that okay so you are just copying the entire book what are the important points what are the highlights try to make notes of that so first writing short notes is important the moment you start your preparation second thing comes is yes obviously when you are preparing short notes don't like rubbish like do it like this no it should be well planned it should be neat because this is going to be there with you till the end of your selection so that is also very important next coming further whenever you whenever you have the habit of uh, practicing answer writing the thing is don't read only or don't just read aloud write and learn that is important so that you are writing and learning writing and learning some students already have the habit like i used to have the habit of writing and learning while well, some have the habit of putting headphones and roaming and walking and then uh, studying it but i'll advise you here when you talk about mains examination it is very much important that you write the things and learn because this will happen this will be uh, helping you in your speed in the upcoming uh, sessions of yours in the upcoming when you'll be preparing for mains plus it will also help you to retain the things what you have learned okay so that's the reason you should write and learn along with making short notes next coming further is if you write paragraphs and paragraphs and lots of paragraphs even the examiner finds it very boring instead if you have some pie chart some tabular format data some graphs so your answer appears to be attractive it appears to be fascinating okay because it catches the attention instead if you are writing paragraphs and paragraphs seven paragraphs six paragraphs it appears to be very boring it appears to be very tedious sort of thing so if you want that your answer should be presentable it should be different from others try to include pie chart graphs information tabular data gra uh, bar graphs histogram whatever things which is which you can relate and which is basically necessary for that you think that will impact for that particular answer do do include that okay it you will be on the upper edge the examiner will surely give you good marks if you have these data uh, regarding to that particular question now coming further is online test series so here as i'll write it also use bar charts graphs and all okay after that next comes is online test series Uh, see, actually, I'll advise you to have online test series also, uh, because here you will come to know that the, what are the pattern of questions can be asked. Obviously, you have to deal with previous years questions, and I guess you would have practiced already previous years questions. So it would be like you had an upper edge on it. You had already practiced at least two to three times those questions, so you are well acquainted to it. But what are the possible questions which can be asked? okay or what are the pattern of questions which can be asked what are the numericals which can be asked in conventional manner these all are important also so there is a online test series there are so many test series available in market so you can join any online test series also so that you can know the different pattern of questions also which can be asked we can't say that exactly same will be asked but obviously the concepts and all those things will be related for sure okay so online test series is also very much beneficial and let me tell you some institutes are like uh, they give you uh, on sundays and all they give you that proper examination uh, you can say environment so they have like any they hire any uh, schools and all or for colleges and all and on sundays you have to go and give the paper and they'll give you the uh, they will check the answers and they'll give you so if in your city it is available so do give it so that according with the environment also you have that practice because see, if you are in your ac room and practicing you are well furnished with everything well sustained but it is not going to be the case because you know it happens during the summer time so there will be only one fan which will be there and number of students will be there for sure so that is the reason i'm telling you that if it is possible if you are living in in a city and uh, uh, some institutes is providing you this facility that on sundays weekends and all you can go and basically give the paper then do try that also okay it's like a real time experience which you will be going to face okay 
next coming further is short notes which i have already told you see if you are preparing for any examinations not only for esc mains if you are preparing for interview if you are preparing for pre if you are preparing for gate state level examinations any examination and if uh, i have asked so, so many toppers every time everybody is like they will be talking about what they will be talking about short notes because uh, that is not practically possible or in the very end days or two days before or a week before it's not possible for you to remember all the 14 subjects 16 subjects how many subjects will be there in your disciple it's not possible for that okay but short notes is something which is practically feasible you can turn the pages okay fine for this 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 is there this is this is there so that becomes very handy and you will remember all the bullet points of it okay because concepts of yours is clear bullet points you'll remember so surely you will write all the important answers getting it now next coming further is avoid long answer writing generally it's not just semester examinations people get to confuse that these are your upsc mains and your uh, semester exams both are same but don't know they are not so kindly avoid this misconception avoid long answer writing so you don't have to line long long answers and all and make it boring okay instead you can put headings write important points jot down the important bullet points and Uh, you can expand them a little but try to avoid long and boring answers and irrelevant things okay what is asked try to be precise to the point instead of writing shit on it okay so try to be precise and as i told you use uh, pictures use uh, diagrams bar charts that's more appealing next coming further is answer structuring answer structuring if you uh, talk it about ma'am how this answer structuring will come this will come when you are thorough with your short notes so if they'll ask you something first you are like talking about the introduction part of it or what does it mean the definition of it what are the factors which affect what are the advantages of it what are the preventive measures of it what are the disadvantages of it so you have to go it in a sequence first defining it its objective advantages preventive measures disadvantages so you have to first write a bullet point and then expand it in a paragraph bullet point and then expand it in a paragraph okay so your proper answer structure should be thoroughly clear in your mind when to do what now you are given the introduction shall i write demerits first or the merits first so you shouldn't waste your time thinking that in the examination so you should have practiced n number of answer writing questions beforehand so that you are very quick in answer structure you don't have to plan it okay fine first i'll write this this if you are quick in planning then it's good but if you take time so better be aware practice n number of questions before so that it takes lesser amount of time in the examination next coming further is you what you have to do is opt for hand exercise see you have to give the paper 300 marks first question is compulsory so in one question there are various sub questions you might be knowing it okay so it practically becomes difficult at the moment comes because if you are thinking that after objective now you are trying to uh, prepare for esc mains so you think that you will be able to solve all the questions but when you give the examination final without practicing it you will notice that no and your hand starts to pain terribly this is also the practical thing which many people ignore it so right now see you have to have a stop clock every every time take out the previous year paper or give any test series first of all develop a sitting habit that you have to sit for the number of hours okay for both paper 1 and paper 2 secondly what you have to do is you have to opt for hand exercises because obviously when you're writing so many long answers in proper manner your hand starts to pain so that's the reason you have like hand exercises and also that your muscles become flexible and obviously i can't say that it will not pain but uh, obviously that pain can be bearable but if you practice that on every day basis because if you are preparing for mains and every day you are solving one question so you are habitual to that so in that condition it will not have a greater impact on that particular day of your examination as well okay now coming further is these are the things last thing i will uh, tell you one more thing regarding it you have to avoid redundant writing redundant writing means the ones which are what not very useful or they are baseless but you are just for the sake of increasing the length of the answers what you are doing it you are keep on writing 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 so kindly don't do this okay whatsoever things you know and you know that this uh, answer is relevant whatever you are writing is relevant to that portion do that only because i am repeating it again this is not your semester examination you can write songs or write whatever no kindly take it seriously the one things which you know properly kindly write that and don't write shit 
okay now so these are the things which you need to do for practicing for esc mains examination and i'll advise you that every day take out one paper practice it so that you have a sitting habit and uh, uh, join test series also so that you can know in market what are the new questions coming and how to approach that questions if you are not able to solve it go back to your notes revise your concepts and solve that question so it's not that don't approach it that kind of you will be seeing the solution no don't do that again read your concepts try to solve it then also you are not able to solve then see the solution part of it this should be the right approach okay so that's it guys and if you have any questions so kindly drop it in the comment section or you can ask me in the chat other than that if you have any further sessions you want me to take kindly message me on my telegram group or you can basically comment here also thank you so much guys till then take care of yourself and you can start a preparation for your gate or esc with us too thank you everyone